fam welcome back to the channel i'm yanka and i'm glad that you're here today i'm going to be talking about marriage and just staying the course um the other day i was reading or i don't know came across something um where uh these parents had gotten divorced and it's actually mostly fathers and um they were just talking about how they wish they had had a fought for their marriage and i just it like really tears at my heart when um children like children i think are the biggest sufferers of divorce and it really does tear my heart when kids have to go from one place to the next and i think it just causes such suffering for the children and um even the parents like i was just listening you know listening to those fathers they're just talking about the grief that sets in and not being able to see their children every day and it just you know changes the entire dynamic and I just want to encourage you that, you know, um, if you are in a marriage and it's hard, you know, you're going to have your ups and downs and just, you know, to stay with it. And first and foremost, you know, go to God because he gives you solutions for all things. And this marriage is a God ordained institution. Um, you can't do this without him. You know, it's, it's a covenant between the husband, the wife and God. And if you leave him out, then you're gonna struggle, <laughs> you're gonna struggle. And you know, God makes promises when you do things his way. Because in Joshua 1, 8, he told Joshua, you know, in order to make your way successful, Josh, Joshua, you keep this book of law before your eyes and you meditate on it day and night. And that's the same thing um, for marriage. You have to keep that book, you know, that's the manual for life. That Bible is the manual for your life. You have to, you have to keep it before your eyes and, you're, and you have to listen to it, you have to speak this. Um, in order to make your way successful, you just can't just go and do this and you know, it'll be miserable for everyone. Um, Psalm 133, one says, you know, behold how good and pleasant it is for brothers to live together, people to live together in unity. If you're not having unity, then you have to step back and ask why, why, you know, what's, what's going on? Because if you don't have unity, you have the opposite. You have um, discord, that verse, like I said, Psalm 133 says, Behold how good and pleasant it is for um, brothers or people to dwell in unity. Um, if you don't have that unity, you have, it's not good and it's not pleasant. It's, it's um, bad and it's unpleasant. And who wants to live in an environment like that? And I don't think divorce is the answer for um, a, a, an environment like that you always have to get back to the root what is the seed why should I kill my whole family that's the way I look at it a divorce is just murder of the whole entire family the unit and the thing of, of the matter is that the divorce isn't just affecting you 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 going it's affecting your generation so no decision that you make is, it stays with just you no this affects you it affects your children it affects your children's children and on and on and on so you think long and hard but first and foremost like i said you go to the father because the thing with marriage it, it works out things in us you know it does it's oppressing and things that need to come out they go because some things are not fruitful and you can't be um stubborn and self-righteous in in you can see especially if you're in a place where you can see the fault of your spouse and if he would just do this or she would just do that um, that's not gonna get you anywhere and the thing that I learned firsthand is that you know God always deals with you on you he deals with you from your place of power and your place of power is you you have to be able to look at yourself and say you know what father where where have I erred? where am I off because when he begins to deal with you on that that's going to switch the whole thing around. All it takes is you and God, because you and God are the majority. You don't need him to do this or her to do that. You need God to work on you in your heart, and you need to allow him to do it. Just like, and you need to give your spouse grace, and you need to give yourself grace as well. But, you know, don't go pointing that finger, but just, you know, you come to God, you know, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within. We all have areas of improvement. We all need to improve in some area. So you give your spouse the grace, and you go to God and, let me tell you, um, just from my own experience, God comes through. I mean, you grow in the process. Um, it changes, it'll change the entire environment. It'll change your, you, it'll change your spouse, and it'll change your entire household. And thereupon, you're um, 
change your entire generation. Passionate about keeping families together. That's, you know, as I look at the things that I do, I have two YouTube channels and they're geared towards family. It's all about family. They're my Good Thing Fitness, that's about, you know, getting moms in the places um, of being healthy, you know, spirit, soul, and body. Because I know that it can affect the entire home. And I'm all for, you know, families staying together. I want children to have a loving and secure and safe environment. So, you know, I'm, I'm talking about things that can help that. You know, I'm showing you, even on this channel, an excellent family, um, just different, uh, my homeschooling stuff, um, talking about marriage, and just different things that I think will be helpful because I'm all about, you know, the children. I'm all about championing, championing marriage. And I just understand how that just affects so much. If you can take this advice that's in the scripture, or actually you read that manual, or take this advice that I get from the scripture, mm -hmm. improve your marriage and save your entire household. Can't think of the verse right now, but it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from the wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal that land. That that applies to your own your very own life your very own household so if you take that that's my advice you are if you know god you are called by his name you need to humble yourself that's first and foremost um you need to pray you have prayer as a believer as a christian is a way of life that's your lifestyle so you need to pray all right you need to seek his face and you need to turn from your wicked, your own wicked way, because it's easy to see the beam of somebody, the little thing in someone else's eye, but you have to look at what's in your own eye. And then you seek His face, turn from your wicked way. The Father will heal your heart. He'll heal your spouse, and He'll heal your household. And if you take care of this battle, and you don't give up, and you press forward, and don't, you know, take divorce and separation all that, take that off the table, but you press forward. And you'll, if you overcome these challenges in your, in your marriage today or in this generation, your children and your children's children will not have to fight this fight because you've taken care of it in this generation. So that's how important it is. So don't give up, guys. You get in that book and you study and you go before God and you let him do that changing that's necessary in you so you can save your entire household and your future generations. So that's all I have for you guys today. That's just like so on my heart and ugh, kids, I just, I love kids. And like I said before, I really want them to have a safe, stable, loving environment. So you can do it, parent. Just press on, press on. Um, thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, please share it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.